Hi, this is Harrison Marsh. Uh, this is a short video on how to choose a slide for playing slide guitar. So, my first guitar slide um, was a fairly inexpensive brass tube, um, and I just couldn't really get on with it because it was simply just way too big. I quite like the sound of, of brass slides, but it was just much too big for my finger. Um, and it's like trying to sort of wear uh, shoes that are too big for you. Your, your fingers sort of grip inside the slide to try and hold it in place. And if the slide's moving, then it makes it really, really difficult to use. So the most important thing is whatever you go for, your slide should fit, uh, fit your finger really well. Second sort of part of, of choosing a slide that's going to work for you is material. Um, and you get lots of sort of weird and wonderful slides coming on the market, I see quite regularly, but the basics are going to be uh, steel or brass, uh, glass slides and ceramic and porcelain. And that decision is purely down to what you listen to and what you like. So glass slides have been massively popular um, you know, the, the whole blue sort of bottleneck slide playing and people chopping the top off wine bottles and things, but uh, people like Ry Cuda, Derek Trucks, Dwayne Allman um, using glass slides to great effect. Um, sound. I started out with some uh, very thin walled glass slides which I don't have to show you because I dropped on a hard floor and they just shattered um, and I've tried quite a few since then and my my favorite glass slide on the market but by a really really long margin is the Derek Trucks signature from Jim Dunlop that um, Dwayne Allman inspired medicine bottle uh, thing so it's it's got a closed end to it uh, the only thing to say about them is that if you use them for a long time, your fingers get a bit sweaty inside. Um, but you can sometimes, I put a, a cotton ball at the end. Um, it is slightly loose on my finger, um, but because of that end, I can, I can make it work just fine. Um, And there is something about weight and thickness of the glass um, that that makes that really, really special. But yeah, a little bit thicker and heavier um, when, when choosing a glass slide can be a really, really good thing. I don't have um, a really, really great brass slide to show you. I have the, the two that I have that are too big for my finger. Um, and my copy has gone missing, but the Joey Landreth signature rock slide um, is the best brass slide that I know of. Really, really comfortable um, to use if you want that sound. The, the sound of the brass slides are a little bit um, more, typically more volume and a, a harsher tone than glass, but not as harsh as steel. So, yeah, the, the Joey Landreth signature is, is fantastic. Which takes me on to, by far and away, my uh, favourite slide. Um, I use it for all of my acoustic stuff and for any electric stuff that I need a, a steel slide for, so all of the sort of Johnny Winter inspired things, um, is from, from Wolfram, the Martin Simpson uh, signature. Mine's medium, but they do two sizes. Uh, mine is the cheaper steel one, not the tungsten carbide, one they did, or, or the more expensive one that Martin uses himself. Um, but it's just a really, really great slide. Um, quite heavy, but it's not sort of threatening to break my finger off um, or threatening to push down on sort of fairly light strings.
yeah, really, really great sounding slide and very, very comfortable um, with that sort of uh, tapered side to it. So that's my recommendations. Uh, the only other thing I would add, uh, oh, the, the wild card I forgot to mention, um, if you're new to slide, and if you're new to slide, it's really, really important to get a slide that uh, fits you. You will probably do as many of us do and end up with a slide collection. Um, but a slide that fits well and, and sounds good to you and is comfortable to use is really important. Um, Diamond slides in the UK make a version of the medicine bottle uh, type slide with a hole in the end to avoid um, your finger sweating inside it as well, um, which is a, a really, really useful shout out to them because um, it's a great idea. Should you see people talk about tone bars or should you be a lap steel player? Um, these things are great if you are a lap steel player and absolutely useless if you're not. Um, and the, the Shub SP2, um, definitely the, the, the favourite that I've found so far and not very expensive uh, for, for lap and pedal steel and sort of square necked over players and, and all of you guys that play the guitar that wise. Um, I hope that's helpful. Very, very final thing. Uh, the Wolfram slide comes with it, but um, the little bag that you get from sort of fold away headphones and you get these from lots of electronics um, gadgetry now will just keep your slide from getting too scratched up in bags and things um, because if they get too scratched up, you've either got to try and polish them or buy a new one. Hope that's helpful and if there are any questions, let me know in the comments below.